Our research group in the computer science has been working on different kind of simulation technologies and one of the projects we have here is how can we simulate large crowds in virtual world or computer generated crowds. And crowd is what you see every day when you walk on Franklin Street, in the buildings, in the mall, or an exhibition floor. And we wanted to develop a system which can simulate a very large number of virtual agents. Like, for example, our goal is someday to simulate Halloween night on Franklin Street, where supposedly 50,000 people show up. It's a very complex system. And not only we want to simulate large number of agents, but we also want the crowds in virtual world to look somewhat like what you see in real world. And that is a very hard problem. So some of our students have developed new technology where they can simulate large number of crowds, but can also have some user-driven behavior control, what they call directed crowd simulation. And in that regard, when we came to know about the multi-touch table that RENC folks had developed over the last few months, it has a capability to have a very natural interaction with multiple user hands, as well as the capability of what we call multiple touch, not just single touch you see on the laptops today. We thought it offered us a very nice interface where we can direct crowd, we can take a selective bunch of people in a large exhibition hall and manually guide them with a very user intuitive interface so that the overall crowd behavior mimics what we see in the real world. The previous system that our, my student uh, Sachin had developed was basically using a simple user-driven mouse. And you know, when you use a mouse to go and select something and move it around, first of all, you can only select one thing at a time, and the interface is not natural. Whereas when you see in the demonstration here, when the students are working on this system, they use multiple hand, it's a much more natural interface to do things with it. What my students and I were being sort of looking at is actually using some of our recent technology um, sound synthesis and that's the process of generating sound uh, directly from the physical principle uh, so we've been looking at um, the you know the whole entire concept of sound synthesis and using that um, for various interesting applications um, that that we we might encounter in real life uh, so one of the things that we have actually demonstrated on is actually using sound synthesis to generate music. Currently, we have a really, you know, good sets of algorithm for sound synthesis, and using the sets of techniques that we have developed, we can actually use, we can actually model all different sorts of virtual instruments. So the user can use these techniques to generate sounds and play by different kind of virtual instruments, but the user interface is an issue because the user need to interact with these virtual instruments. And the most natural way that we see anybody playing virtual instrument is by their hand. And therefore, a multi-touch you know, table like this is a great way for the user to actually interact with these virtual instruments. And so when my student Ziming saw this, you know, when, she, when she told us about this, we thought, well, this will be one possibility. And when we actually have a table here, uh, we were able to use this table to direct crowds around and you know play around with it and our experience has been very positive because it's such just so easy to use you can use your hand you know you don't have to use the mouse uh, and and we've seen various users who, who work with the table they loved it and and you know so we were we were very convinced that this will be a great interface for us to try it out to create actually various type of a virtual instrument